and welcome to Lines on Design. Yes, we're here today with very good friends of ours. Hannah has joined us from J Banks. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you. And Brian Baltiger's here from Stoneworks. And we're really excited to focus today on um, kind of reinventing spaces, if you will. You did a beautiful renovation here. And Hannah, talk us through a little bit about what you all did and what the concept was. Well, we came from a dark kitchen, sort of dark cabinets, dark orange walls, and really wanted to lighten and brighten it up and mm -hmm. make it really fresh. And so um, our clients were excitingly not wanting to do white cabinets, which is seemingly okay. what everyone wants to do these mm -hmm. days. So to have color involved is always exciting. I love color and um, Mary Jane said, let's do a bright blue. And so we ordered several different kind of color chips and explored different blue tones and landed on this gorgeous shade of blue for the cabinets. I tell you what, the, it's a phenomenal layout too. When you're talking about selecting and you're talking about doing things like countertops, what, were your, what was your thought process? What were some things that were important to you all? I think we wanted to keep it crisp and clean to balance out that that blue that we had in the background, mm -hmm. um, but also not be boring. So we okay. wanted some movement to it. Exactly. Definitely not a boring material. This is a Via Terra Keras from Quart um, it's a quartz material. Mm -hmm. but to me, this is one of the uh, by far the best looking Carrara colors, Carrara like colors of a. Uh, of quartz out there. So. so how is quartz better, not better than, but different, different a yeah. different uh, treatment than, uh, let's say, a marble Carrera? You don't have to seal the material. You don't have to worry about acid etching. That's that's marble's biggest issue. But with this, you can get a similar uh, look to a marble without that uh, mm -hmm. concern about acid etching and scratching. Uh, it's possible to scratch, but not easily scratched. Uh, so uh, quartz is the way to go right now, and uh, this is a beautiful color of a uh, Carrera-looking quartz. Yeah, it's sure. fantastic. And talk with me, because I really like the way that you did this island. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, that sort of came up about when we wanted to have an extension of the kitchen and have more of a sitting space where you could actually sit but not interfere with the, the work mm -hmm. triangle and the mm -hmm. actual cooking in the space. So it worked out really nicely to kind of pull the island a little bit further down here and then thought through the, the materials and kind of wanting to be a little more interesting and added in the solid wood countertop there just to sort of break up all the white. So who is the builder here? Joey Varon with and he's somewhere homes. around yes. here. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I can, yeah. I can be in the background here. One of the things I've really liked is the use of glass. And one of the other things that you pointed out that I really love is the way that you've really put this door in and built it into the cabinetry. It looks like it was made to be. Yeah, and sometimes with renovations, these things evolve and they sort of come together throughout the process. And that was one of them because, you know, trying to keep the trim color, you know, it's very expensive to paint all the trim in a home. And so if you're able to just touch up the trim rather than repaint it all, it's mm -hmm. always a bonus. So in this case where the trim was a little creamier than the white white we had on the countertops and the backsplash, the solution was to paint the door to make it look like it integrated with the cabinets rather than that ivory color being right in front of you. How do you all work with Stoneworks when it comes to making selections of countertops and things like that? Oftentimes, uh, Hannah and the, uh, the uh, end client, uh, mm -hmm. in this case, Mrs. Mark, um, will come out to our showroom and make selections. And uh, in this case, they've done a, just a beautiful job. It's pretty, the isn't it? Yeah. The cabinet yeah. color goes so well with this quartz. But, uh, mm -hmm. It's a uh, collaboration, you know, the builder, the homeowner, and mm -hmm. the designer. Yeah. And, uh, it all comes together, uh, just as you see here. So, And I love the way you've got the lights and the darks. And you know, talking about renovation and how it can really make a difference in someone's home, the way that you've taken kind of a dark space and really brightened it and lightened it up is phenomenal. It also, to me, doesn't look like a renovation. Oh, good. That's the best compliment, no, I think. I, like, you just feel like it has always been this way, and it's yes. integrated into the space. Yeah. Very much. Compliment. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back, and we're going to see the bathroom, which I think will be a lot of fun. We're going to talk with you about some really cool countertops that you've got back in there. Sounds good. <laughs> We are here now in the master bathroom, and I tell you, renovations are so much fun. And we've got some before pictures, so we can actually see the magic that you all did work. Talk to us a little bit, if you will, Hannah, I'm going to start with you, and I'm going to stand close because I've got the microphone, okay. about the way it was laid out and what your design thoughts were. So we pretty much kept the layout really similar with keeping the sinks in the same place um, and the shower in the same place. But as with a lot of renovations these days, we're taking out those heavy built-in tubs and we're doing freestanding tubs. Mm -hmm. And the amount of natural light in this space is just beautiful. So we really wanted to keep it kind of serene and light and bright and just take advantage of that pretty natural light. 
Um, we did take out a small linen closet and incorporated that into the cabinet package. Which is um, so cool with yeah, the glass. Just, it looks amazing. Again, it opens it up. It's not another solid piece here. And it gives you that chance for the seated glass, some yes. lighting, and some kind of special touches and some, you know, a beautiful space already, like I said, with all the light. Well, one of the things I'm excited about talking to you about, Brian, is the countertop that you chose because I think it is amazing. And you really have taken it throughout this area, the dry area, into the wet area. Talk with us a little bit about this. That's right. So this is uh, this is called Carava's uh, line of. They consider it to be a quartz, but it's uh, it's actually sixty percent of it I is actually this. recycled it's glass. Yeah. So you've got uh, your recycled glass, and that's a that's a pretty key point uh, today. People are looking to to uh, you know obviously recycle materials and mm -hmm. save and uh, mm -hmm. not be so wasteful. But uh, they also use uh, mother of pearl shells, as you can see in this this color, Savai. This is actually our best-selling uh, Carava color. I but, love uh, this. I absolutely love it. But what Ms., uh, what Hannah and Mrs. Marr uh, chose in this case is called Himalaya, and uh, just beautiful color, and it goes so well with that cabinetry. But, uh, they did an amazing job. While I've got you, Brian, I want to talk to you about the edging too, because I think sure. people take for granted they pick their they pick their top, right? Let me come stand over here. They pick their countertop, but you don't really think about what the edging is going to look like and inevitably that's one of the questions that you get asked yeah, yeah and uh, there's multiple different edges we can do uh, they're pretty much the uh, uh, endless uh, selections you can buy custom profiles you can mm -hmm. get uh, fancy OGs and uh, even laminated and mitered edging but uh, this is a pretty simplistic uh, what we call a half inch radius uh, with an eased edge around the sink mm -hmm. cutout and that's um, Seems like simplicity is in these days, so we're, uh, we're doing more of that uh, rather than the uh, complex, well, fancy edges. Exactly, and I <clears> love <throat> the rectangle sinks. I yeah, think those, those just look modern, modern and, and fresh. Yeah. And then that rounded edge is always really nice too. We actually, this was a design detail that we went back and forth on a little bit. Okay. Is, um, you know, where should the rounded be edge? Do we want to do the same edges in the kitchen? And we ended up putting the rounded edge here because a lot of times I think, you know, you're, oh, you're using That's your exactly numbers, right. You're doing new mm -hmm. you're shaving. And so it's a really kind of user friendly edge to have in the bathroom. And I want to talk about the shower because I think that looks phenomenal. And let's see, Brian, first of all, I like how you integrated the countertop through here. Talk to us about that. Yeah, we often do these, uh, you know, whatever you choose on the countertop, you might use the, uh, the remaining material uh, to, to make sure the design kind of coordinates throughout the room. And here we've used it for the wall cap going into the shower as well as the, the triangular shower seat. It's hard to see because I just popped into it. I don't know if you can see around there. It's but more of a foot prop, I'd say, for, for ladies, uh, for leg shaving. And, yeah. uh, exactly. Uh, I loved it. All right, but here it is, the design detail. First of all, talk us through walking in. And she's so proud of her shower. It's so it's cool, so beautiful. right? It's so <laughs> great. So again, you know, we'll go back to that kind of creamy color that we had on the trim. Yes. Throughout. And, you know, it's important to me, too, to not make a space feel like it's stark and brand new. Mm -hmm. And so this tile selection was great because it offered us a little bit of the grays and the taupes that are really current, ivory and white. So it feels crisp and fresh, but it's not, you know, bright white and in your face. So that's, that's why I love this feel tile. Well, you know, and, and um, I do a lot of aging in place things. And so I'm all about the universal design piece. And one of the things that I noticed was how efficient this is. In other words, there's a place to sit, there's a handheld shower, there's easy access. Those are all things I think that are amazing, and in this renovation, you did it beautifully. Thanks. Yeah, and we work closely with Joey with Lee Built Homes yes. to really make sure this really integrated into your lifestyle. You know, if you twist your ankle or if you need to sit down in the shower, we've got all that covered, but it's also beautiful. So that's kind of our the design challenge is to also make it look beautiful while super functional. Yeah. Well, let's talk about again countertops and hard surfaces like this. Are you finding, as far as tiles go? Or is there a size that is trending now? Are there colors? A lot of whites I see. Yeah, people are definitely going light, but uh, as far as tiles go, a lot of times the, the size of the space would uh, would dictate the size of the, mm -hmm. the particular format of tile, but, uh, but larger formats are definitely becoming more of a, a thing. We're seeing 24 by 48 and, uh, oh, are you really? and even okay. uh, some full slab size uh, porcelain tiles. Those are becoming very popular too. Um, and it's amazing what they can do with porcelain these days. You, I honestly, I've been in the natural stone industry for a long, long time, but I can't tell some of the colors until I see the edge, uh, whether it's porcelain or, or marble. It's, it's come a long way. What is the advantage of having a porcelain over a marble? 
Uh, again, the, the acid etching would be the biggest issue with, okay. with marble. Um, price would be a big advantage. It it's, uh, doesn't cost near as much mm -hmm. for a, a Italian looking uh, porcelain tile uh, versus an actual Italian marble tile. Yeah, big. Well, I tell people all the time if they haven't been to Stoneworks, it's the most fun place to go for ideas, right? Great design ideas. <laughs> right, it's the best. Yeah. Thank you. There was a new board that came in that's got the, like, the pinks and the greens. Did you see? Oh, so fun. It's amazing. And you're always ahead of the time, so that's kind of wonderful, too. We try to keep a lot of interesting things in there, and it helps when we deal with uh, you know people like Hannah and yeah. Joey on a regular fun. basis, stay on top of the trend. Well, Joey, thank you for being in the background. Brian, <laughs> thank you for talking to us. And Hannah, it's great to see you. Stay with us. There's more to come here on Lines on Design.